Hi everybody and welcome to day 18 of ICAD and that is index card a day. So for this one I've been hanging on to some cereal bags not sure what I was going to do with them but they were clear and I knew I would find a use for them and I have another idea still yet but it has nothing to do with ICAD. So I thought of just taking some of these, just cutting them in strips and using them in layers and just putting different patterns and paint colors on each layer. And that's exactly what I did. And it was really easy. The only thing is you have to wait for the paint to dry and it does take a bit longer to dry on plastic. I think I ended up leaving mine overnight and it probably didn't take that long but at least then I knew everything was cured for sure because the layer the paint layer wasn't too thick but I just wanted to make sure that it was dry So for the layers, I, I do end up using some of my art foamies. I think, I don't know if I use it on every single layer, but I think I do. So to adhere the cereal bag to the card, I'm just using double-sided sticky tape. And honestly, like when this is all done, I cannot see one single piece of tape. It does not show up at all. Which is what I kind of figured like with the layers of paint. It'd be different if maybe if I didn't put anything on the cereal bag, but I can't see anything. And I'm looking for it. So first I just decided to scrape some green paint on just for a base layer. Nothing fancy. <laughs> and this one, I couldn't find the name of it anywhere, but I am almost certain that it is an art foamy by Rebecca Meyer. And I think it is called Dragonfly Wing. I am almost sure of it. And I did think that I would dry the layers first with my heat gun, but I could tell it was going to take a very long time. So I gave up on that idea and just set it aside to dry and move on to the next layer. So I'm just cleaning off the card that I'm using to spread the paint with a baby white because I didn't want to mix the green and the yellow. And this is another one by Rebecca Meyer and it's called Coffee Stain. And it didn't show up a whole lot like it shows up on paper of course but here I'm trying to remove the paint not actually stamp with it so I end up going in with this rubber tip tool it's some sort of mark making tool and I just scrape the paint off where that circle should have been and you can still see some of the dots like from the inner part of that art foamy so you can tell where it was. So that rubber tool thingy, it has a slanted side, like a slanted edge, and then a pointy tip. And I took the pointy tip and just did some squiggles, like messy handwriting type squiggles. It doesn't say anything. <laughs>
So I decided the green layer needed a little bit more. So I grab my small little three by four, three by four, three by five. Hmm. I just double checked and it's three by five. So this art foamy is by art by Marlene and it comes in a set of maybe four different pieces and the whole set is called doodle patterns. So this time I'm actually putting the paint on the art foamy and using it as a stamp instead of trying to take paint away. I'm just getting rid of that extra paint left on the gel plate. Don't want to waste it. So I throw it on another card and I'm sure I'll use it. <laughs> That's probably why all my cards don't turn out great either because I'm just trying to use like when I throw stuff on a card instead of throwing it out I try to actually use it and make it into something. On this final layer, I am going to use black and I take an art foamy by Kat Kerr and it's all text and it says now or never. And it just repeats that over and over again and some is backwards and some's the right way. I don't think any is upside down. I think it's just forward and backwards. And so I just stamp that over this entire piece of plastic. And again, just getting rid of that paint and ruining this card. <laughs> I don't think I've used this one yet. Let's see, I got a little bit of yellow paint on that now or never. And that is why I wait overnight for the paint to dry. So now it's the next day and it's probably at night the next day like it was probably although the first time I was playing it was probably late at night so never mind it was still probably only 24 hours so again I'm using the double-sided tape to add the layers of plastic So I decide I want the black writing in between the two layers and I peeled it off and the tape actually came with the piece that I peeled off so I replaced the tape back in the exact same spot because you could see like when I took off that piece the tape came but also the paint that was on the underneath layer so I knew exactly where to put my tape. And then when I lay the next piece down, that green kind of goes back in place because I put it back in the same spot so you don't even notice anything happened. If you didn't see this video, you wouldn't know.
Now this is a stamp from Paper Bag Studio. It's one of Robin Marie Smith's stamps. And I believe this one is from Inked. That's the name of the stamp set. Taking some of my favorite color and just adding it like, you know that edge of the bag, it's like groovy, like rumply. You know, it's kind of like how they seal the bag and it has those bumps. So I want to make those stand out a little bit more. So I just rub my finger over it. And I'm just adding some dots. See, this is the easier part, doing the background. The hard part is trying to decide what to put on it. Now this is a piece of, like I've had a few of these, and it's like it's never ending. <laughs> no matter how much I use it, I feel like I always find a piece of it. But it's a Carabelle Studio stamp, and it's just stamped on tissue paper. And I love it. And that's just a strip from the gel prints, probably from doing the one the day before. I'm just playing around with some possible die cuts. And the black die cuts that you see me testing out, they're by Art by Marlene. She doesn't name her stuff, so just look up Art by Marlene. I find her stuff really hard to find, but um, the company that makes her stuff is called Studio Light. You can look them up, and I think on their site they may tell you what places sells her products. I know Joggles does. Other than that, I have no idea. And that's where I got these dies was joggles. So I'm just tacking everything down just a little bit, not too worried about full coverage because I will be taking it to my sewing machine. I swear that Dina Wakely stamped image I've tried on almost every single iCAD I have made. <laughs> I swear I've tested it out on every single one. It will get used eventually, I'm sure. <laughs> so I'm using my heat gun, um, not the Tim Holtz one because I wanted something more powerful. And the idea was to shrink up the plastic a little, like you know how heat will make it curl, almost like you're burning it. And I didn't want to do it with a lighter because I didn't want it to get brown or to catch the paper on fire. This was a much safer way to do it. So I'm just heating it up enough to make the plastic shrink. It's almost like when you use like one of those sealers, like it just vacuumed on a little bit and curled up the edges and that's exactly what I wanted. See, love that. The only thing is it was curling up my card as well. Just taking one of those tags that I made when I was playing with my gloss sprays. I'm going to tuck it underneath that cluster right there. I 
Now that piece of die cut, that is from In Love Art Shop. I'm chuckling because you you may hear my dog snoring. <laughs> he is lying right, right next to my door. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not. He's a loud snore. But anyway, I just want to let you know that when I do get my website up and going, there will be a section for my supply list. And I will be having links to where you can get the supplies so then I won't have to do it for every single one so just be patient I will be getting it for you guys okay so that is it for day 18 so I will go and talk to you again tomorrow have a great weekend everybody bye